So, let us solve the problems on exercise 6 D under first section the first problem. First problem evaluate integral 1 by root of 2 x minus 3 x square plus 1 d x. Okay. Let us find out. i is equal to integral 1 by root of 2 x minus 3 x square plus 1 d x. Now, 2 x minus 3 x square plus 1 take out minus 3 common. If you take minus 3 common you get x square minus 2 by third of x and minus 1 by 3. Now, x coefficient is minus 2 by 3 multiply with 1 by 2 you get 1 by 3. So, 1 by 3 is whole square we have to add and subtract. So, minus 1 by minus 3 x square minus 2 by 3 x plus 1 by 3 whole square minus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 9. First 3 terms we can write minus 3 times x minus 1 by 3 whole square. Now, 9 is the LCM minus 4 by 9. This we can write take minus inside 2 by 3 whole square. Now, into 3 minus x minus 1 by 3 whole square. Now, i becomes integral root of this one is 1 by root 3 common 1 by root of 2 by 3 whole square minus x minus 1 by 3 whole square dx. Now, how could we sol solve it? So, put x minus 1 by 3 is equal to t differentiate with respect to x dx is equal to we get dt. So, this is 1 by root 3 times integral 1 by root of 2 by 3 whole square minus t square dt. Now, integral 1 by root of a square minus x square dx. This is sin inverse x by a plus c. Using this standard integral, this can be written 1 by root 3 sin inverse t by 2 by 3 this is 1 by root 3 sin inverse 3 t by 2. What does t stands for? That is x minus 1 by 3. So, that means here one thing t is equal to x minus 1 by 3. What is 3 t? 3 t is equal to 3 x minus 1. So, therefore, 1 by root 3 sin inverse of 3 x minus 1 by 2 plus constant of integration. Second problem integral sin theta by root of 2 minus cos square theta d theta. So, let us do this problem i is equal to integral sin theta by root of 2 minus cos square theta d theta. Now, put cos theta is equal to t. 
if you differentiate d t is equal to minus sin theta d theta multiply minus sin and divide by minus 1. So, you get minus integral of 1 by root of 2 minus cos square theta into minus sin theta d theta right down. That means, if you put cos theta is equal to t, this minus sin theta d theta becomes d t. So, this can be written now minus integral 1 by root of root 2 square minus t square d t. Now, we have the formula integral 1 by root of a square minus x square dx sin inverse x by a plus constant of integration. Using this formula, this can be written. So, minus sin inverse t by root 2. What does t stands for cos theta? So, this is minus sin inverse of 1 by root 2 cos theta plus constant of integration. Let us move to the next problem that is third problem. Third one evaluate integral cos x by sin square x plus 4 sin x plus 5 dx. Okay. Let us solve this problem. i is equal to integral cos x by sin square x plus 4 sin x plus 5 dx. If you observe this problem, the cos x will be the derivative of sin x. So, if we say sin x is equal to t, this problem becomes 1 by a quadratic factor in terms of t. So, that means that will be in the form of integral of 1 by a x square plus b x plus c dx. Already we have discuss, discussed how to find out integral of the form integral 1 by a x square plus b x plus c dx. So, that means here put sin x is equal to t. Now, d t by d x is equal to cos x. So, d t is equal to or cos x d x is equal to d t. This cos x d x we can write d t. Now, this becomes integral 1 by t square plus 4 t plus 5 d t. Now, t square plus 4 t plus 5 can be written as t square plus 4 t plus 4 plus 1. This is t plus 2 whole square and plus 1 square. Am I correct? So, now this integral becomes i becomes integral 1 by so 1 square plus t plus 2 whole square d t. Now, this is in the form of 1 by a square plus x square 1 by a tan inverse x by a. So, tan inverse of t plus 2. What is t stands for? t stands for sin x. So, this is equal to tan inverse of 2 plus sin x plus constant of integration. Now, let us move to the next problem. <coughs> 